What's up everybody? It's uh, Adam with Hunt the Wild and today we're heading to Kentucky see if we can get us some squirrels and maybe cook up some squirreled hot wings. So um, we're going to make our way down to Henderson County and see what we can get into. Because they tell me that Hazard, Kentucky is the baddest place in the world. An open morning for every hunting season would be a national holiday. We're gonna see if we can get on some squirrels and seen a few rabbits back here, so hopefully we get lucky and see some rabbits too, but we're gonna walk down all the way down this wood line out to uh out to the edge and then cut in maybe 100 yards or so that's where i usually like to start it's late season so shouldn't be very many leaves on the trees and should be pretty easy to spot so we got a few hours it's not too windy or anything um feeling pretty good about it so we're gonna go in and get set up and settle down and see what we can see Got into the woods. Um, we just made our way down the field and cut in about 80 to 100 yards. I'm set up at the base of a tree right here. It's usually where I like to start at and uh, kind of work my way back. Uh, we're gonna sit here and see, get settled in, see what kind of movement goes on. And, We'll adjust accordingly. So, wind's not too bad. Five, ten mile an hour. We're in the river bottom, so it does tend to get a little more windy down here. I got the old Savage 22 long rifle. A scope on it. It's my squirrel killing machine. So, sit back and try to get some footage of us getting some squirrels and. If we're lucky, we'll have some to cook and make some buffalo squirrel wings.
What's up guys? Well, it is about 10 after last shooting light. I had a few squirrels come in right at like the last couple of minutes, but they were moving pretty fast and they were heading for nests. So I was sitting underneath three or four nests, but I heard some on the ground shuffling around, but they were up that tree and in the nest pretty fast. So I ended up making out with just that one uh, gray squirrel. So. Let's see if we can. It's a pretty nice one. Decent size. Not a baby or anything. We're gonna make our way back out to the field and back to the truck and drive down the road just a little bit there's like a dead-end gravel road area call it call it beaver lake but I'm gonna go down there and see if we can try to make up some buffalo uh, squirrel We are back at the truck and we're going to drive up the road here a little bit and park down the cul-de-sac gravel road area. It's a little nicer because it's off the main, main road. We're going to see if we can get the stove out, get fired up, get some oil heated, and uh, see if we can make us some squirrel buffalo hot wings. It's my grandpa's old Gibson And a girl of no importance A shot of whiskey sitting on the bar Yeah, I used to give a damn I used to try real hard But I'll give him tonight Chances are
Okay, so we got olive oil in there, about a quarter of an inch. We're gonna get that nice and hot. And while it's heating up, we're gonna clean our squirrel. I clean this squirrel in front of my truck. It's awful dark, so basically, first thing you want to do is take your squirrel and uh, pull both of his his leg and his arm at the same time, both sides. Get them nice and stretched out. Then, how I do it, I know everybody does it different ways, but the best way I have found is I'll snip off the both the hands, both the feet, and the head. I use game shears. And then I basically will just make a small slit right in his back once all that stuff is off, including the tail. You want to make a slit and pull everything off and make the last slit down and take the guts out. By the end you should have five pieces of meat. You should have both of the fronts, both of the backs, legs, and then just a piece of the back section here. So we're going to get them cleaned, get them washed up, and get them in the skillet. Make a slit right here, right at the joint. Hand comes right off. Right at the joint again. Just like so. If you don't have a pair of game shears, you are missing out. Cut the other back foot off. And these are just cheap game shears. They come from Academy. Five dollars, but man, they do save your knife blade. So basically I'll pull the tail back. I don't know if you can see it. I'll just make a slit right where it meets its back. And there's a little joint in there. You can kind of feel it. See his tail kind of move when I hit it. Tail's off. You can save that or dispose of it. Now we're going to remove the head. We got both feet removed. Both feet removed, both hands removed. Basically what I want to do is I want to just make a slit all the way around its head until I get down to the bone and then I'll uh, hit it with the game shears and just twist it right off. I got his head severed there and then we're just going to take the game shears and snip it all the way through. There you go. Last thing is we're just gonna make a slit right in its back and then once we get the fur off we'll make a slit all the way down, take the guts out, quarter it up and we'll be ready to stick it in the fryer. See right here we're gonna pinch his back, make a slit and you don't want to cut all the way down to the meat you just want to cut right till you make it inside the skin. You can see the little slit. And it works better if you got two people, one person to pinch and one to cut, but we'll make do. So I've got a little slit here now. I don't know if you can see that. I'll widen it out a little bit. I'm basically gonna stick my fingers in there and pull his pants off, pull his shirt off. Okay, I got my fingers in both slits right here. You can kind of see. I'm basically just gonna pull everything apart. And once you get it down a little ways, just kind of work it, keep working it down and get your finger kind of inside a leg here and you kind of watch it pop right off. Very simple. There's his pants. And we're going to do, I like to wipe my hands off quite a bit because I don't like to get hair all over the meat. But and Some people really, really struggle with that. 
right here I'm just gonna pull back legs kind of work it up Slit here. We're going to pull everything up. There's a squirrel there. Now we're going to make a slit all the way down its belly and take the guts out. Basically when you get to this point here, you're going to have him cut open. You can see, you should just be able to spread his rib cage, and everything should just come out in one easy motion. So you can see here, basically just pull everything out. And you can save the heart or the liver if you want. Pulling everything out one time. There we go, we got a clean squirrel there. No guts. There's a little bit of hair on him, but we're gonna rinse it off. He'll have that sometimes, but I don't use the cut the tail and pull the hide off method. I think it's hard and it never works for me, but if you've never done it this way, you may try it. I've been doing it since I was a kid, so. I'm gonna get it washed up, get it put in the skillet, and uh, see what these buffalo squirrel wings taste like. So basically, when you cut up a squirrel, you wanna have these two back legs, these two front legs, and then the back part of the back. But I like to cut mine up into five pieces first before I wash them, because I think it keeps me from spreading hair all over so I'll wash like the back legs the back and then the two front legs by themselves so uh, I'm gonna get it trimmed up and uh, get it washed we've got our squirrel here cleaned up and quartered out we got five sections there one, two, three, four, five. Two back legs, two front legs, and then the back. So we're gonna put some. Never done this before, so I'm just gonna try out just some flour and a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, and we're gonna fry them up and then toss them in some sweet baby rays buffalo sauce and we'll uh, get them cooked up and see how they taste I'm just gonna flip them here Oh, we got them salt and peppered. Now I'm gonna dip them in this uh, flour here and by that time the oil hopefully will be hot enough and uh, we'll set them in there. I think they need to cook probably, I don't know, maybe 10 minutes. I wanna make sure they're cooked all the way through but I don't wanna overcook them. So it's the first time I've done this, like I said, so let's kind of play it by ear. Kind of put them in the flour here good toss around okay our oil is hot and ready to go so we're gonna take all the squirrel and put it in there and we'll see kind of how long it takes to cook may have to turn the heat up just a touch Try not to get it too hot to start with Kind of lay them in here. Mm 
they're starting to golden up some it's been probably four minutes I uh, probably give them another minute and then I'm gonna try to try to flip them we're gonna try to flip them here and see how they look Not gonna lie, smell pretty good. Alright guys, they are getting close to being done. Getting kind of crispy. I flipped them a few times. This piece here definitely looks like it's ready. I'm gonna add Sweet Baby Ray's barbecue sauce to them now. Put about half of it in there and get nice and coated. So I kind of want the sauce to be warm because it's cold outside. I think they're ready to pull off and put them on a plate and we're gonna see how these puppies taste eastern gray squirrel buffalo wings pretty easy to make too and here's our plate of wings let's try them out this is a back leg here It's actually really good, really good. Go for a front leg on this one. I'd probably say if you were going to uh, cook these up for yourself, I'd say two squirrels cut and quartered up, maybe with some celery or whatever you're having on the side, french fries or whatever, would be good for like one person. I wish the squirrels were moving a little better. I could have went for two or three. Another back leg. It's pretty good, don't it? This just kind of shows you what the meat looks like. And those are good. This is the back. Well, that is the end of the squirrel hot wings. We're gonna get cleaned up, maybe hitting the deer woods in the morning back in Indiana. Not really sure yet, it is pretty cold out. And uh, still got some tags to fill over there. Well, thanks everybody for tuning in to another episode of Hunt the Wild. And uh, don't forget to roam, eat, conserve, and we'll see you guys soon.